I'm Dr. Adrian Hannes, director of the Archaeology Laboratory and Anthropology Professor at Augustana College in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. This museum methods module deals with thematic design and the way in which you, in a museum display sequence, tie in subtly different types of design motifs which you carry through a number of different parts of the display tactics. The example for today's discussion is actually the Mitchell Prehistoric Indian Village in Mitchell, South Dakota. Over the last number of years, we have been developing displays for Mitchell, and early on in the sequence, I made a decision that one of the things we would like to try to tie in, which is part of the prehistoric record, would be r prehistoric rock art designs. So what we did was, there are several different places we have worked these in, starting with sandblasting images into the exterior and interior portions of the Archaeodome, which is displayed here. Then we also developed a series of stones that are on the walkway out to the site, as these examples show, where, where young people can actually get rubbing paper from the museum and do rubbings of the designs. We also introduced the designs in the parking lot on these high poles, and then we also show them coming down into the entryway of the site with these display signs that give some detail about the Mitchell site before visitors even get into the site. Then upon entering the site, and one of the newest features are these rock art designs, which we again produced out of quarter inch steel plate, which have been attached to the exterior of the building, which will be the backdrop for a native garden, which is just being developed. So again, what we're doing is carrying a thematic design throughout. It doesn't leap out at the visitors, but it's something that is nuanced and subtle that, a, that assists in guiding people through the site and also um, giving you a sense of the prehistoric past. These designs all come from actual archeological sites that are located in the North Cave Hills or in the South Black Hills of western South Dakota. And they have been archaeologically documented to correspond to the time period that the Mitchell Prehistoric Indian Village was occupied. There is no rock art in the eastern part of South Dakota because there really aren't any adequate rock outcroppings onto which this art could be produced. But again, we're using it because it's analogous in time and space, and we have found small design motifs on bone and some other items here at the site during our excavations, which tell us that the people were clearly creating uh, and, and inscribing different design motifs. One aspect of creating this design motif that we're carrying through here at the Mitchell site was to cut out from quarter inch steel plate with welding torches, a uh, set of the design motifs. So what we did was took the archeological drawings from the actual sites, created a enlarged image from those drawings by projecting it with an opaque projector. We then take these images and lay them on the steel plate as being shown here, chalk around the images, and then we cut them out with a torch. And those images are the ones that you see here that are on the upright posts out here in the parking lot, the images that have been produced on the walkway coming into the site, the images that are on the exterior of the Bainan Building Museum, and then the images that are sandblasted into the exterior of the Archaeodome.
it's a process by which a, a number of different um, strategies are used. Because of the fact that we're using this plate steel, which is new, but I wish to have the images get somewhat of a consistent rust pattern, what we're actually doing here is spraying concentrated lemon juice on the steel plate with in which a couple hours time it'll begin a corrosive process which then will just be continued once we hang the images up and you can see from these images that have been out here for several years that the um, the rusting corrosive process is a continuing process but it's one which um, by starting out and misting the entire surface with a, in this case a lemon juice concentrate it gives it a more evenly distributed pattern of corrosion. The pieces that are on the exterior of the archaeodome are particularly important because they actually depict the way in which these images appear on the rock art surfaces from which they were originally recorded. The images in South Dakota are all petroglyphs where the image is pecked or ground into the surface rather than painted. Painted images would be known as um, pictographs. So we in South Dakota happen to have the best archaeological record of petroglyphs. Again, the, the point of this particular museum methods module is to demonstrate that you can, you can select design motifs that are appropriate for the particular museum and set of displays that you're developing, which you then, by applying them in different positions around, in this case, the site itself, both outdoors and indoors, but in, in an interior museum exhibit from one zone of the exhibit to another, it creates in the visitor's mind something that becomes a tie together point. It anchors the exhibit in a sense, and yet it does it in a very subtle and nuanced way, which generally is not intended to leap out at people, but it's intended instead to ground the exhibit in a set of design motifs. I'm Dr. Adrian Hannes from the Archaeology Laboratory at Augustana College in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Thank you.